right, boys and girls, this week we're going to be reading nonfiction books. Nonfiction books teach us something. So let's read a book to start off that's called Christmas. This week I also want you to try to make connections. So each time we read a nonfiction book, we're going to do two things. One, I want you to tell your learning coach what you learned. So what was new information? And two, I want you to make a connection. When we make a connection, it's when something reminds us of something else. So for example, when I look on this page of the book Christmas, I see these Christmas bulbs. Those Christmas bulbs remind me of the Christmas bulbs I see on my own Christmas tree. Let's see if you can make a connection to something that happens in the book. This is called a table of contents, and it tells us what we're going to learn about in a real nonfiction book. This says, what is Christmas? And then also symbols of Christmas. Symbols are something that represents something else. So remember, when we learned about the United States of America, we learned about symbols like the bald eagle and the Statue of Liberty. So in this book, we're going to learn about symbols of Christmas. And then there are some other things to help us learn more about Christmas. Let's get started learning. What is Christmas? Christmas is a Christian holiday. It is December 25th. What do Christians celebrate? The birth of Jesus. They call him the Son of God. And then there's a label to help you understand what Christians believe. So Christian families believe that this is baby Jesus. And that is why Christian families celebrate Christmas. Soon it will be Christmas. We go to church. Meg sings songs about baby Jesus. This is what some families do during winter holidays. We shop. We buy gifts. Look, it's Santa. Dan asks him for a bike. We put up a Christmas tree. We hang the lights. Tia hangs the ornaments. And look, here's a caption to help us know what lights are. This word lights can mean so many different things, but in this story, they're talking about lights that are hung on a Christmas tree, and they look like this. We wrap gifts. Zoe helps mom. Here is a gift for dad. We bake cookies. Yum! Bella and Sam frost them. Pretty! Many of you might have done some baking last week with the gingerbread men. Ding dong! Who's at the door? Carolers! They sing songs. So these are carolers, and one tradition at Christmas might be going Christmas caroling where you sing songs. Every family has different traditions at Christmas. So stop the video and talk to your learning coach about the traditions that you have. Is your tradition baking cookies? Is your tradition going Christmas caroling? Is your tradition going to church or going to see Santa? What are your family's Christmas? Christmas traditions if you celebrate Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, talk about some of your other traditions. It's Christmas Day. Ben gets a gift. It's a toy car. Merry Christmas! And here are some other symbols of Christmas. A Christmas tree, baby Jesus, Santa Claus, and gifts. And here is a picture glossary that helps teach us some new words that were in this story. One new word was carolers. That's a group of people who visit others and sing Christmas songs. A Christian is a person who believes that Jesus is the Son of God and follows his teachings as written in the Bible. Jesus is the man that Christians believe is the Son of God. And ornaments are objects that make something look pretty. 
What's something new that you learned in this book? Share with your learning coach, and we're going to use this book as our first of the week for nonfiction books. Remember, in nonfiction books, they're true and we learn something. What did you learn?